Go back to 1977. You were only 17 at the time. Yes. Your brother decides to go for like a round the world backpacking trip with his with his yeah. lovely girlfriend Peter at the yes. time. Um, when was it that you and your family realised that something potentially could be wrong? Well, Chris and Peter always stayed in regular contact. Chris um, made cassette tapes, you know, and which we listened to, and Peter was a consummate letter writer. She right. was, you know, writing to her mother regularly just about every week. So we knew that there was something wrong. The, the last... Uh, the last communication we received was um, from the middle of June, which we received sort of early July. Mm. And uh, thereafter, there was complete radio silence. We didn't hear anything at all. But then we got a letter in early August, or rather Peter's family did, and it was dated the 29th of June. So we knew that there was something very Long awry. Time, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so it was about five weeks. And, you know, pr prior to that, we had heard from them just about every week, yeah. uh, one of them. Yeah. You so know. you were so used to that regular contact. Absolutely. And then all of a sudden it stopped, which yeah. obviously would, you know, yeah. concern Alert. any parent, brother, Absolutely. sister. Yeah. What, what, I mean, we're, we're going back to 1977. There was this, it's not the case of, you know, pick up the mobile phone, get no, on exactly. Facebook or anything like that and no. try and contact them. What, what did you and your family do to try and find out why well, they're not we, writing? We, we knew from that letter that they were on a boat um, off Belize or, or Guatemala. So th that was very critical information. And that she even quite incredibly gave the name of the skipper, the, the, right. um, you know, the, the boat's captain. And she mentioned that with the skipper were two sons, ages, and she even gave the ages, the names, um, Russell and Vince Boston and the, the, the skipper, Silas Dwayne Boston. So it was all very critical information, which was very useful for us. Um, so, uh, you know, my parents did an enormous amount of investigation. It, you know, it was incredibly difficult at that time, no mobile of phones, course, you know, long, long distance phone calls. Um, but they, they did an incredible job. And uh, one really critical piece of information was that they contacted the harbour master Right. in Belize. Where they the, picked the, the, up the boat. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Where, where they were last known to have been. And uh, he said, yes, they were definitely signed on as crew. So we know that so, they got on the boat. Mm. Absolutely. So, so we knew that they were... The likelihood was that they were out at sea in the Caribbean and... Um, she mentioned also very, very, very pertinent piece of information was that tempers were getting frayed because right. the skipper was losing his temper with the two boys right. a lot and uh, was was being very abusive to them. Yeah. Um, Am I right in saying that it was only when you, your, you and your family contacted the harbour master from the other end of the journey yeah. that? they confirmed, Absolutely. actually, they no, the father the and yeah. two boys were the only people on the Absolutely. boat. Absolutely. So, so we knew something was happening. Something's happened at sea, yes. in sea. Yes. I mean, you as a family, to receive the news that, mm. um, that this Silas guy, suspectedly, mm. had um, tied them up, he'd mm. beaten them, tortured them, yeah. and then drowned them. And I'm, am I right in saying that... They were fully conscious. He was fully yeah. conscious when he drowned yeah. them as well. Absolutely. W what goes through a family's mind like that? Well, I mean, de devastation. We, we were... You know, it was so hard to comprehend. But at this point, we, that, so, so, so their, their bodies were buried unidentified. Yeah. So, so for 10 months, we went through... You still didn't know We, if it we was didn't them. know. Yeah. But, but then their bodies were exhumed and their dental records uh, flown out. And in April, mm. uh, you know, we got the positive yeah. identification. But, was, yeah. but by then, Boston and his two sons... Had, had gone on the run. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we're, go we're going to shoot forward now, um, 40 years on, and then obviously we're now living in a world of technology and we've yep. got uh, the world at our fingertips. You yes. then went to Facebook to track down the family. So, so yes, so for 38 years we, we knew that they had been murdered, they'd been tortured, we didn't know the why, and that absolutely plagued us. You yeah. know, it haunted yeah. us. Why? Why mm. did this happen to, to seemingly, you know... You know, normal, normal loving kids. people. Absolutely, you know, and um, you contacted so, so, the sons, didn't you? Yeah. So, so, so basically, in in 2015, I was I was out for a dog walk with my mother, who by then was 91. Right. And um, she mentioned Chris because we've never forgotten him, obviously. Yeah. Oh. And um, I just suddenly thought, why on earth have I not looked for these people that we 
thought held the key, you know, the clues all along. Yeah. Why have I not looked for them on and the you internet? you found them and on of course, Facebook. Yeah, and I, you know, I literally ran back from the dog walk, you know, and um, within sort of half an hour, you know, because I knew all the you names, the name, yeah. you know, I, I found them on the internet and um, there they were in glorious Technicolor, living this sort of parallel life the other side right. of the Atlantic. Yeah, um, what and, and, followed? And, I mean, I, so, I cannot so, believe... So that weekend, I literally... I was just, you know, like a dog with a bone, trying to drill down. I went through all their Facebook stuff and um, I started messaging Mess them on, on mm. the direct messenger thing, saying, I think you know what happened on that boat. If you don't come forward, you know, I'm mm. not going to leave it alone. And then what yeah. actually did happen is, I mean, we've only literally got about 30 seconds before we have to go to the break, but... Yeah. The, the, the children so, did so, tell so you what happened. Yeah, and, and unbeknownst to us, they had been trying to tell the police in America... Well, they, they had been right. telling the police about their father. About their father. Um, and nothing was done, but... Yeah. Nothing was done because the file was missing in this country. Right. But he was charged. Unfortunately, he, he charged. did pass away whilst in custody, yeah. so he was mm. never fully charged. But you guys know Just what remarkable. happened after all these years yes. because of that technology. he was technology. arrested and he, he um, yeah. had five months in jail before yeah. he decided to... Penny, okay. we're